15 deadlifts, 25 box jumps, 50, 50 pull-ups, 100 wall balls, 200 double unders, and then the 400 meter run. It's 25 box jumps? 25 box jumps. It got started here in uh, 2008. We had the first Fight Gone Bad at my, at my box. I think it was Fight Gone Bad 3. And this kid from Pitt came up. He had been following the dot-com wads here and there. And uh, he comes up and he blows it out of the water. Got a, a 400, like 30-something, uh, Zach Miller. And he ended up taking second place in the country. You know, he submitted videos on YouTube. He took second place in the country, which is pretty awesome. And he said, hey, I, I want to start this. And I was working at the university. So I said, OK, I'll be the advisor for the club, and we'll get it going. And uh, so it started off. They set up a blog. And all it is is a group of kids that come together, and they come to the, the local gyms, which aren't set up as a CrossFit gym. But we find a way to make it work within uh, the community that we have at the university. We're here in our gym in Trees Hall, and this was traditionally, when I, from the time I was an undergrad, this was the, the dungeon basement where you know, anybody who was into powerlifting before, before there was CrossFit, um, this is where anyone who was serious about lifting came. Um, but we have another fitness facility that opened up uh, more recently, early 2000, and so that only students are allowed there. So this is the place where faculty and staff come to work out. And a lot of them are older and they, they like their quiet, they like to get on their ellipticals, and so that's how they do things. Um, we had one point where we had a year where we found a location, and it was uh, an older building, we're up on the second floor, guys were starting to make some big gains, uh, dropping dropping big weights from overhead, uh, dropping heavy deadlifts, did some damage to the ceiling uh, for the floor below. It did, you know, the floor that we were lifting on had some damage, and so that was it. No more, uh, no more there. So we're back in, in Trees Hall again, and uh, just trying to work around people here and be respectful of everyone so we keep everyone happy, but we're still able to accomplish what we try to accomplish. On the, on the yes, here. we got lucky. This from this side is 20 inches, so we have most of our girls and our beginners go on that side, and then this side is 24. So I don't know what this is here for. It's kind of like a bench, so everyone puts all their stuff on and whatnot. So it kind of works out. But there's also there's one there's one 24 inch box, so we use that also. But, you know, make do. Well, it's a challenge. We don't have we don't have bumper plates. Uh, we have other people working out in the facilities that aren't accustomed to CrossFit. That they they have no interest in it. So whenever we're making noise and the weights drop, people get scared or offended, and um, so we've had some conflicts with that. And so we try to be polite and not upset anybody, but we still get our workouts in and uh, you know, improve our fitness. It's challenging at times, definitely. Like, we'll, we'll be in the middle of a workout and someone will be like, you know, doing some shrugs, hopping, hopping on our bar and doing shrugs, and we'll just kind of have to, you know, catch our breath and not, not complain about it. The people that we see are, they want to get strong, but they want to look like bodybuilders. That's what they have in, in mind, especially coming out of high school, whatever insecurities they have. It's, oh, I want to look like this, or uh, you know, I, I want to do this workout of the cover of this magazine because I want to look like that guy. And all we have to do is get them to try it. And once they try it, and all of a sudden they're able to do things that they never even thought they could do before, their, their focus starts shifting from appearance to performance. And whether we have kids that want to go and compete at the games, or we got kids that are just happy that they can do a pull-up for the first time, or that they, uh, you know, they, they are still maybe thin, but they don't look like a scrawny weakling anymore, it's uh, it's a neat experience for them. The girls we get in, you know, it's still a minority, but um, you know, seeing them be able to work out hard and outperform other guys in the gym is a really neat experience for them. Hit it. Was it here on campus? Uh, my coach, Barry Widener from CrossFit Generation, he works at uh, Happy Horsham High School, which is my high school, and he was my football coach. Got me started in it uh, after, after high school. Started looking more into what this CrossFit stuff was, and then I came here, I found, found Zach, Miller, and Andrew, and all the guys that ran the group here. Got involved and just, you know, fell in love with it. Back home, one of my hockey, I play ice hockey, one of my coaches, he went to Air Force and he came back and he got certified and he's like, well, this is what we did all the time. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in my life. 
and he started getting me into it, and I liked it a lot. It kept me in shape for hockey and made me better at it too and diversify what I'm good at, not just being strong in the legs, but having a real up, uh, strong upper body and core. And it's a great program to stay all around fit. And I mean, you can't be get that anywhere else with any like just doing bench press or whatever in a the gym. There's just nothing to replace that type of workout. Right, when did you get your level one set? Um, last September. And how old are you? I'm 20. So why did you decide to get it at like such an early age? Um, well, it's something I want to do later in life. I want to own my own gym. So uh, I thought it was a good good opportunity for me to learn and help everyone else out here that's part of the group because we, did, we didn't have anyone that was certified and it's just something I've been interested in for a while and coming up on almost three years now. So, so you've been doing something I want to do. Years? Yeah. This guy Ryan uh, Johnston like lived across the street from me and he introduced me to CrossFit and the first time I came Zach was there and Ryan and watching those two Go pretty much got me off my ass and in shape. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even you know started this stuff or even being in shape for him and seeing him go. So. Are you surprised by like the diverse backgrounds a lot of people have? But they're, they're actually all coming together for CrossFit. For CrossFit? Yeah. A lot of kids doing a lot of different majors and they all have this kind of uh, Yeah, definitely. And uh, that's the cool thing about it. You know, no matter who you are or what you're into, you can always get involved. And What's really shocked me is I came into school as a freshman here at Pitt a couple years ago and nobody knew about CrossFit. Nobody knew. People were like looking at me like, they still look at us like we're crazy, but if you ask anyone on the street and say, you know, what's CrossFit, you'll get a lot more people that are like, oh yeah, I heard about that stuff, or I saw it on ESPN or whatnot. And just the growth of it has been pretty crazy. It can be frustrating for me. I kind of, these kids start off and they look at me and like, wow, this guy knows how to do this. He's so strong, he's so fit. And because they're, they're so young and healthy and, and testosterone flowing out their ears, within a couple months, they're out, outperforming me. And uh, it, it's, I take pride for them, but it's a little frustrating for me. They're just really amazing how, how quickly they adapt. Did they ever get their head on the ceiling before? Uh, we've got some pretty tall guys, but no, we haven't had that problem. Have you ever had anybody who just comes in on an elliptical reading a book that come to you and say, what are you guys doing, can I try it? Oh, I no, not, not can I try it. Mostly it's that look of fear, like you're going to hurt those kids. What are you doing? Which is an interesting thing because whenever I work out with the judo club in the morning, people come up and ask me for advice and they're like, how do I do this? And, and it's, for some reason I put the, the title CrossFit on it and they say, you know, oh my God, you can't do that. But I'm working out with the judo club doing the exact same things and people are like, oh, this looks great. I, I don't know. It's getting better because it, I think it has a lot to do with having a community and the peers helping each other out. When I first started, I did a little clinic with the, the kids around Pitt. I show them this is what you do and this is the standard and this is how deep a squat should be and this is how straight your back should be on a deadlift and this is what a shoulder press looks like, arms locked out, back in the scapular plane. I'm demonstrating everything, but whenever you put on that clock, there's a lot of slop and I'd try to, to enforce it and you know, egos get in the way and it, it didn't, wasn't necessarily an easy start. But now, when their peers hold them to a standard, they do a better job of upholding it, and uh, I'm impressed to see that. I, you know, I keep trying to do what, put my focus on technique and, and standards, but they're the ones who really enforce it.